Hello again, everyone. It is your Black Knight, and although no time has passed in game since I last talked to you guys, much time has passed in real life. I have not played this game. I forgot to get a screen capture, but I have not played this game since October 5th, 2019. It is now January 11th, 2020. Right, we we're in a new year. A new decade, by the way, some measured decades. It's the 20s, not the teens. Although, uh, if you're measuring from the beginning of A.D., then it is technically the last year of a decade measured from the first year. But I mean, we're not going to go through all of that again. It's... But I'm, I'm only really recording this video just to mark the point where I actually went back to playing Fallout 4. I mean, I'm just going to... I'm not doing anything big here today. I'm just going to maybe do a water run. That's the plan, at least. Whee! You know, go and collect the water from my settlements and... Say hi. Hi, how you doing? Huh? Mr. Provisioner. Oh, look. They respond. We get all this guy's stuff again. And Scrap and Sally just lost confirmed. all of her parts. So typical. I don't really have anything planned in the in the short term, really, to, 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 to do with the game. Place. I mean, I'm just I, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna try and build up my my scrap levels, make some money in the game, as it were. Get myself to the point where, if I want to start doing, you know, maybe maybe someday we want to do something better than this. Well, there is kind of an interesting historical point, and this is one of my first builds when I really didn't know what I was doing. And I am somewhat fond of it, therefore. There was a lot of work that went into something that ugly. But, again, I don't really have much in the way of plans. I'm not, my, I mean, as far as plans are concerned, my next thing would be to try to max out all of my settlements as far as people is concerned. And to do that, I need more of my sharp armor. I need more sharp armor. I have so much data on the and that's going to take bombs. some time and luck. I fear I may have to be I've been shooting a lot of stuff over the years. And I haven't found any other than what I'm wearing. Huh? You know? Continue on here with the the plan. So once I get all my sharp armor, then I can absolutely max out my charisma, and then I can shuffle people around. But you know, is it really like you know a mission? Is it something where you know I, it's something I'll show off at some point? But that could take a long time. I, I, if I can come across you know some. Some mission I haven't completed. Is there is there one or two things maybe still in Good Neighbor that I haven't done? I mean, I've pretty well exhausted this game. I think there was there were a couple minor missions still, you know, hither and dither, this place and that, other than the the uh, the radiant ones that keep happening that I could still do. But I don't really now. I'm just kind of set up to play the game. I I have all of my Settlement's really pretty well established. You know, I can expand on them. I, you know, until, until they get to game-breaking sizes. But not much... Not much else to do. And... Interesting side note. As it is now, it's in January. I've got my... All of my videos, other than this one. Scheduled somewhere to out in March. It's cool stuff. Just so much. I do love the sparkly, sparkly of the little tank armor. Huh? As you can see, so much sparkly, sparkly. But I'm watching the uh, 
the interest levels, if you can call it that, on my videos here. Boy, I'll tell you, the last four or five Fallout videos, I mean, the, the average is less than one hit. I mean, they're all, not all zeros, but there's a lot of zeros. They're not getting watched. I wonder if anyone will watch this one. And I think part of that, at least the way I will salve my ego, is that Bethesda has made such a mess of Fallout 76 that there is just no goodwill towards anything Fallout right now. They've really hung a job on Fallout. And I think maybe they've just killed the interest in it, so there's nothing going on there. Now, the videos will be up. My stuff still hasn't been taken out of search, as far as I could tell. I thought that was supposed to be one of the things that was supposed to happen with COPPA. Maybe it still will. And then maybe these things will become utterly unsearchable and unfindable, and th therefore there, there may even be no hope in doing it. But on the, on the other hand, that does give me a lot of freedom, just to kind of make whatever videos I feel like, and, you know, visit with the people who would be looking at my videos and this airport must have been impressive before say, hey here's where I'm at guys a pleasure to see you just, just let it run the uh containers for a bit yeah there is something to be said for the freedom to fail, because it really, you know, I'm not, I'm not, um, not monetized as at this point. And it's not like I'm looking for that. Not like I'm hoping that people aren't going to like and subscribe. I don't ask for it a lot. Like and subscribe today, so that I can continue to make these videos. I'm going to continue to make these videos. It's what I do. It's my hobby. It's how I have fun. And right now, you know, I'm just. That was a wonderful walk-up, Gary. I appreciate that. It makes a great. This is just great video stuff here. Um, will I play 76? It's I mean, right now. They're still having, I think, the problem where hackers can just steal all of your stuff, which I don't have a lot of stuff. I had planned on trying to go through and beat the uh, the year one campaign before they come out with Wastelanders. Maybe Wastelanders will save the whole thing. Maybe by the time you've seen this, there's been a huge resurgence in, in, in interest in Fallout and uh, the videos are getting hits and stuff like that. I'm not concerned about it. It just is what it is. That's stuck in the... See, this is just great Fallout physics kind of stuff, you know? It's just... Can we move that? Oh, it's gonna... Oh, it was almost gonna pop out. Okay, I did grab it. I did pull it out. Let's, let's drop it. Follow this up. I'm still kind of keeping a history of the games I play for myself, if no one else. So I can look these things up. The shovel should just appear and just boing. Because <laughs> that's how conveyors work. Do that. Do you keep going? Or did to nope, to toss it. Leather chest piece. I don't even know why there'd be a leather chest piece. Oh, there's that's a different. This is a different shovel. It didn't make it through. That shovel made it through. But we're going to help this shovel out. We're going to clear it over the bank. Shovel popping up. Two shovels crossed. Stuck off to the side. And bleh. And bleh. So will I have a lot of Fallout 4 videos coming up? I don't know. I don't really have anything planned. I'm not saying it's by the time that March rolls around, I won't have to come up with a whole new plan here. But, I mean, we've... we really covered a lot of the bases here, folks. We've, I don't know how many Fallout videos I've done. Fallout 76? I, if I get inspired, if I get into a mood, somewhere between 
you know, maybe it'll have happened already. Maybe the next video you see in this fall series will be, I'm starting 76. Not today, though. Not today. Today, I just want to do something a little bit more pastoral. And, you know, it's the nice thing about playing Fallout 4 is, I mean, I am, you know, I'm a level 132 character. I've got an explosive shotgun. I've got the Overseer's Guardian. There's not much out in the waste that can mess with me. And I've got all kinds of ways of making money. I'm a, I am a baron of purified water. I've got more purified water running than the, the Brotherhood of Steel down in Washington. <laughs> Another one. Another glitched out robot that's lost all of its parts. But you know what? It's, it can't die anyway. So we might as well just let it go until we feel like we've built up our our resources enough to just throw, throw money at robots. And I don't know. I mean, will there come a point where I say, you know what? Let's, let's finish the battle. Let's pick a side between the Brotherhood of Steel and the and the Railroad. I'm almost tempted, though, to let that go until Fallout 5 comes out, and then we can determine, you know, what canon really is here. What is the canon ending, really? I mean, I usually the good, good, goody, good, good ending is the canon ending, and that would be the ending that I picked, which is the, you know, the nobody but the Institute loses it. But how do we know that the Minuteman ending is the, the true ending? I mean, let's be honest, can, all canon is headcanon. It's what you want it to be. In my Fallout universe, the Brotherhood won. That's, not the Brotherhood, the, uh, the Minutemen won. But when they write the next game... You know, then that that could be operating in a different universe where these guys won, or the railroad won, took this ship down, and the heir apparent to uh, to El to the original Max and gets blown up. Who knows? We don't know. I the game does give the Brotherhood of Steel uh, some priority. I mean, there's no question about it. And need the Brotherhood ending. Where pretty much everybody but them gets killed uh, is uh, is the way that they'll present it. Maybe they'll have a lock on the East Coast by the time, or or more likely, uh, Fallout Five will happen someplace where you won't even know what happened. It's just you can let it go. It'll be. Let's see. They've already done Boston. They've already done Washington. They've already done West Virginia, kind of. They've done Vegas. Where else can they go? I mean, there's lots of places they can go. They've done California and the in the West Coast and the, the original ones. I mean, there's we could revisit uh, the New Republic and see what that looks like. That would be kind of an interesting thing because I would think if you go out to California, the the New Republic should be really not looking like crap. It shouldn't look like this. They should have really worked all that up. I'm stuck. Okay, we're just going to have to hop down here. Woo! Woo! It's all good. Sure, we're all I like friendly. The idea of men that have so much firepower. Let's continue with the... Let's see, is it done processing all this stuff? Forgot why I was here. <laughs> Okay, yeah, that's empty. Oh, there's some stuff here. There's some fishing rods. Wow. <laughs> let's just... Let's take the fishing rod and the purified water. Oh, we got another purified water. Now, I want to... You might say, well, that'll just add to your purified water. But no, 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 no. I want to keep this purified water separate from the other purified water. This is my emergency stash of purified water. If I ever get to the point where I really need something in game, this isn't coming from my my massively produced purified water. 
transfer. So we gotta go into my aid and just put one purified water in. Just come on. Grab the slider. We're up. One. Like so. Go to my junk. Send that over. How much do we have in here of purified water? Two thousand. <laughs> That is more purified water than you'd really know what to do with. That's a lot of purified water. You can spend it all. Not in one shot. You'd have to just grind. You'd have to. We are now officially independently wealthy because by the time you went to every single vendor and spent as, as much as you could spend, you'd still have. I still have created more water to replace this. So this is a lot of water. That's. At least that's uh, that's what my guess is. I think that's that's where we're at. We're we're independently wealthy, which again is another reason I like to play Fallout 4. It's nice to play a game where you're independently wealthy and you've, you've beaten most of the tough bad guys, and life's kind of good. And I know what you're saying. Well, what's the challenge? Then? Well, I mean, sometimes it's not about the challenge. It's about having you know a place you set up that where you can accept challenges. As the as you want to, you can you're, you're not forced to uh, to continually grind. You can just do what you want to do. If there's a weapon I want, I can get a weapon. I don't have to you know say well. It's not like in GTA where to to make sure that I can do the casino heist, I have to make sure I, I have a million dollars to buy this and then a million dollars for that and then go through all the setup missions and then finally do the heist. I can just do whatever I want to in this game. It's really that there's a niceness to that. It's a pleasantness. It's it's a place. I hate to say it's a fun place where I can go and relax because it is a ruined world, but still, it's a world that is completely fanciful. This is not. It is stylistically how you'd imagine a post-nuclear environment, and there are some things that do mimic it very well. But the whole thing where you you're not just dying of radiation poisoning and starvation all the time. You know, I'm not playing... Who wants to be there, you know? it's That's not a game you want to play. That's just misery. Now, that is the one positive aspect of, uh, of nuclear weapons, of course, is that because World War would inevitably end... Maybe not start, but it would inevitably end with nuclear weapons. People just don't do um, World Wars anymore. Why? What's the point? Well, I have a massive it conflict to see Grey Garden. when it's not going to end well. It's going to end with the end go. of all things because everyone's going to starve to death and die from radiation and the climate change and no food and all this kind of stuff. So therefore, we only have these like little regional things where no one really wants to get out of line. And when you think about World War One and World War Two, where really within 20 years people were like, "Oh, but let's go back and do this. Let's roll the tanks. That's what we do." Yeah, World War Two really—you can almost look at it as an extension of World War One because it was because of the the stiff punishments meted out by the Allies that Germany was in a, a mental state to listen to someone as as evil as Adolf Hitler. It's it's an interesting interesting dynamic. And there's been a lot of stuff, I think, also that contributes to a, a lack of world wars over nearly a century. You know, the the, the interrelated economy. I mean, back, back in the day, you know, Germany had its economy, and we had our economy, and that was pretty much, there was some trade, but it wasn't like this world economy where if, if, if one country is in trouble, everybody's in trouble. Which is an interesting thing. I still do think, though, but the fact that if you if things really did go all right, it would end up like this. It, 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 it were worse than this, really. No, let's keep everybody a little bit settled down. The farm's not much. Settled down but it's now. Something. You hear about that farm run by ghouls? <laughs> Isn't that something? So this is kind of just where I'm at. I'm just going. Got some stuff for sale. As I'm, have a look? as I'm playing the game. Sure. Let me show you what I'm I've got. I'm kind of enjoying the fruits of my labors here. You know. So does that leave a lot of room? Who's that? Was that? Oh, burnt lifestyle. This is the magazine. Does that leave a lot of room for videos? Eh. I might have like a compilation of weird glitches or something comes up because there's always glitches. 
Or if there's a mission, then I do. You may just suddenly say on some Friday, hey, look, maybe next Friday, because if it happens within the next couple months, then I'll have it up then. Maybe this will just continue on without unbroken. But I mean, I don't have a lot more planned for Fallout 4, and I don't know at what point I'm going to suddenly be inspired. Yeah, let's sell with a tire iron. You can have a tire iron. A yeah, short double barrel shotgun. And yeah, a drifter outfit. I like that. That's right. That's the stuff I got from some mongrel dog meat. Keep the, the salt bean though. Those are those are precious. So fifteen thousand five. Close enough. Wee. And yeah, let's... do we have any missions to go save anybody? No, we're good. I guess I could put some of this junk in my uh, in home plate because home plate's not linked to anything. We could eventually really fix up home plate. That could be a a thing. <laughs> but nah. Do I want to do a uh, a robot hunt mission while we're on this? Maybe get another settler. Hey, you were the one that walked that freedom. Hey. Thing. That's good. Hey, Arturo. Hey, Arturo. Everything I got will keep you safe. Sure. Let's Give take me all a look. Stuff. Feel free to test the grips. That's another thing we can build up our, our ammo here. Extended Ripper. I don't know if I've ever seen an extended Ripper. I mean, I'm sure I have, but... He did super sledge. Yeah, that's some interesting stuff. All right, but let's get focused. I don't need a power frame just yet. I mean, I probably do, but key one is the. Uh, yeah, let's just get some stuff. Some flares. Why not? Just buy all your bullets. Not something I normally do, but something I can. My inventory. Let's see, ten thousand. The good news. And there's this you one. Again. Seem happy to have the All right, back. Got plenty of supplies. The one mistake I made. I've got a few minutes to browse. Was Odd joking minutes. that I was a synth to this woman, and she's been rude to me since. And there's no way of showing up and blowing all kinds of money that makes her settle down. It's ammo. So no one will have ammo but me. Okay, we have. First of all, do we have any? Um, how much do we got here? How much money we got? Eight thousand. So we don't really want to. We don't want to give her money. Let's see. Where's my ammo? And okay, we'll accept that. It still goes back to her. Okay, only giving her 440 at that point. That's fine. Accept it. Although, you know what? Murder. We really should get and more 308 just about rounds and shotgun rounds. But none of it is I scrap. Use. I've got a few yeah, minutes to browse. Here's what we got. Shelling out some money.
aid. Uh, yeah. You just go through so many of these. Cannonball for. Good enough. Good enough. Close enough for Jazz. Amount of money. Let us go back. Up to the Rotten Landfill area. Starlight Drive-In. You have to stop it. Starlight Drive-In gets so many attacks. You have to stop there periodically. And it is my main scrapping center. So. It will scrap faster than everybody else. I'll pick some stuff up there. And this is pretty much how I'll play the game now for a little while. I'll hop in, I'll do this kind of stuff. And if I come up with something creative, well then you'll know about it because I'll probably make a video. Do I take a run out to, to Nuka World and collect whatever water I've collected there? Uh, Hi, uh. how are you? Yeah? It's my most elaborate settlement. Do we need to check on it? Oh, bottle caps. Yeah, that's good. Anybody shooting anybody? But I mean, if, it, if it's just going to contribute water to the overall. Work to do. Can't talk now. I can't remember the last time I had to do anything. Anything out here dead? Yeah. Anything to loot? These are the areas you'd look. Well, at least if you've got guns put, put where I have my guns. Looks like all the a lot of the dead bodies have cleared. There used to be a huge stack of dead bodies here. That's good. Game has refreshed itself a little bit. Currently in factory default mode. Unit a couple provisioners. In default mode. Starlight in your face. <laughs> I don't remember making that one. Alrighty. Starlight in your face. I have a custom destination somewhere off on the left there. Something left over. There's always going off to the Morton residence and trying to milk it for all of its salt beans and Mentos there. <laughs> Mentats. But the... Um, the trick of the matter is, I don't know if that'll work now that uh, Gage is dead. I had it work at least once without him, with somebody else. But... It was another chaotic character, so I don't know. We'll have to see if... Might have been strong. But I don't... I, I don't feel like going back to Nuka World. Was there anything else I needed from Nuka World? I think I did. I did all the star cores. Did all the star cores. Um, was there something else to collect? No, that's right. We can collect tickets and stuff like that. And yeah, let's dump this stuff off here. Store all the junk. <sighs> There you go. Anything else? Extended Ripper. Yeah, we'll throw that in here for the residents. Flux sensor. Quest items. What do I have a flux sensor for? A Ferris wheel medallion. I, mean, I guess there's still some stuff. Some of the different park medallions and things like that I could be doing, but... Not today. I want to let Nuke World kind of sit and hum on its own for a little while.
Let the overboss be gone for a while, see how it goes. I'm imagining I'll get called to defend periodically. I should have done these stairways. I did the stairways more properly on Nuka World, but this is why. Experience. You see, because good decisions come from experience, and experience comes from bad decisions. So therefore, eventually, and here we are. Theoretically, I could wander through anywhere out there, find all kinds of things to loot, see what other little secrets they've got. And that might happen. And if it's at all interesting, or even if it's not, I'll try and share it with you. So, I might say, is this the end of Fallout Fridays? Or, nah, no, there'll, there'll be something, I'm sure. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'll go back and do the original games at some point. But for right now, We'll just have to see. We'll have to see if there's any interest in it, and if there isn't, um, I just do what I do. If I'm playing, if I'm playing it, then you probably know about it. Probably won't share another video exactly like this, where I'm just doing the standard mundane things that I normally do. But at least now you know how I'm playing it. Until I actually decide to go exploring again, or something else, or pick up a different follow. -up. Or another game altogether. Well, other games altogether you'll see on different days or something. You will subvert Fallout Fridays into something else. But we'll, we'll see how it goes. On that note, ladies and gentlemen, this is Your Black Knight. Where'd Curry go? I'll have Curry in the. Curry? Curry? Um, sweetheart, where are you here? Oh, there you are. Ah, you scared me there. What are you supposed to be at least in the final shot? <laughs> oh, ladies and gentlemen, this is your Black Knight. Have a great night. Okay, so I guess I guess we just have a cow on the roof now. That's like a thing. <laughs>